Hey guys, Richard here. So in this video, I want to show you a very, very quick way that you can build a website completely for free if you're a beginner. Now, a website is very essential, obviously, if you're going to be doing any kind of business online. And this website has got a great bonus because it also includes an autoresponder. Now, the site I want you to go to is a site called Get Response. You'll see the link in the description below. Go ahead and register for a free account on Get Response. And what that'll allow you to do is get 500 subscribers. You'll have email marketing tools. You'll have a website builder, and it'd be a great way for you to start. Now, I'm going to jump into Get Response. I'm going to show you how to build these websites so that you know exactly what you need to do and you could have a website up and running very, very quickly. So guys, if you want to learn how to build a business online and you like these types of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so I can let you know whenever I produce my next video. And guys, if you want to learn how to build a business with affiliate marketing online, go ahead and check out the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads, and we'll take you through the whole process step by step. So guys, let's jump in here. Now, the first thing I want you to do, obviously, is go up and sign up for the free account. For the free platform, you're going to get unlimited email marketing, up to 500 contacts, AI-powered, code-free website builder. You're going to get some automation tools to start with for 30 days. You're going to be able to access to webinars, web forms, some advanced analytic tools, and some automated sales funnels. Now, these parts here are only for 30 days. What you're going to get access to is this here. So we'll jump inside. You'll see this type of interface when you jump inside. And I want you to come up here to menu and I want you to go to a website builder. Now again, guys, remember this is completely for free. They're going to host this website for you. And there's only one thing if you want to that you need to add. Now go ahead and look at the ready-made templates first. There is some other options here, but this is what I wanted to go ahead and click. Now, what you have here is uh, lots and lots of different types of templates. You have pre-designed templates and some blank templates here that basically give you areas that you can put various things like images. We'll go for the pre-design because it's easier to show you exactly what's going on here. Now, at the top here, you've got lots of different types of niches, over 20 odd niches on here. So you can pick one that's around about what your business is going to be around, whether it's sports, whether it's jobs and education, whether it's home and garden, you can pick one of these. But just click on any of these. It just gives you a lot of different options in that particular particular niche. On the left hand side, it's also got different types of websites. So you might want an affiliate website, brochure, business crowdfunding. You can look through these and decide if one of these fit the type of website that you want. Now, if I just go back and I have a look at the all, and then I'm going to go back and just pick one that's kind of nice so that we can see exactly how we can change these particular websites. Let's go and have a look at maybe computer and electronics. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this. So you can cite preview this just by hitting this preview button and it's going to show you what your site actually looks like and you can see here it's really nice site very very simple to use and it's got a home page you've got case studies on here you've got a team on here you can introduce your team on there and you've got a contact form here if people want to contact you so if we want to use this template we just go ahead and press use and this then becomes editable now this is made up of a series of uh, elements. Now, all the different elements you can actually edit. Now, there's your logo elements here, you've got menu elements here, you've got images in the background, you've got all of this text, call to action buttons, you can edit everything. So we start off with the logo up here, we just click on the logo, all on the right hand side, you'll have a menu. Now, these are the various options. If I wanted to change my logo, all I'd do is press replace, and I can go ahead and find different logos. Now, if you haven't got a logo and you don't know where to start, come over to a site called Canva. I'll leave a link in the description below. And this is completely free as well, guys. And you can come and pick these logos and make one from their already pre-done templates. Now, go ahead and just pick one of these and you can edit these in the same way. Let's say I wanted this one. And you can go and edit this, change all of these words, the same kind of thing, and then save it. So you would upload it into here. You can just copy and paste it into here. You can just add the files here, or you can just actually drag and drop it into this account, and you can press use and it will change the logo. So again, very, very easy to change your logo. On the menu options here, again, you just click on these menu options and you can go through here and you can start changing all of your menu options. And as soon as you do anything on the right hand side here, things will start to change. Now this is the actual menu itself. We're gonna get into how to rename some of these pages, but these are the menus themselves. Now, as you go through these blocks, you'll see on the right hand side, there's a little blue box. This little blue box allows you to either move, the top one is move, then you can save or you can duplicate, which is that, or you can actually go ahead and delete. Now that's the same for all of these different blocks. 
as I go through here, I can delete things if I want to get rid of this spacer. I just take this spacer out. Again, that was giving me a little bit more room up the top. And I can just duplicate things. If I want to go ahead and duplicate this, you can see I've duplicated that very quickly. For the text, just click on the text and you've got all different things you can do with the text. So you've got headings, you can change the font, the size, all these different styles, the background color, change the alignment on the text if you want. You can see that text actually moving about, change the line height, if there's more than one line there. All of that very very flexible now again for the background image if i click on the image you can change these images here so this image here i'm going to go and change that i'm going to show you another thing on here which is quite cool they've actually linked to unsplash which is royalty free images that you can just use on unsplash so i can just come here and actually look at anything to do with images so if i just put office in there because i noticed that was an office based image i can get some options for the office now let's just look at this one here just press used and that's going to automatically change that you see that in the background that's just changed that and all's happened here is they've changed the image opacity so if i can bring that right to 100 percent, it's really bright or i can bring it right down i hope you can see how flexible this is guys because this is really really easy to use same with all of these i can go and change all of the various images here plus all of the text here exactly the same now if i want to change one of these elements i want to add elements to it I just click on the add element here and it's going to allow me to add various elements into the website itself now remember i'm only doing the home page at the moment i am going to show you how to do the case study and the team and the contact page so let's say i wanted to add a timer to this for whatever reason i come up here and i can add a timer and just drag and drop and your time is there now this will allow you to do certain settings on the timer and you can fix dates etc now I go ahead and get rid of that. I don't really want a timer. Other things I can do is I could add a video on here. I could add another gallery with more images. I can add pop-ups to the site. I can add all of these different things. Now, if I wanted to add a different section, I'll put a section under here, and it's going to ask me what type of section I want. And you see all of these different types of sections on here. So I want to go and just add a text section here, and it's going to ask me whether I want text with images or how I want the text actually styled. So I want one like this, so I just press this, and again, straight away you've got this underneath the main image. Really easy to use, and you can build your websites doing this. Now if I wanted to start changing the pages, go up to manage pages here, and I can actually rename some of these pages or order these pages. If I want a team to be at the end, I can just drag and drop this and it's gonna reorder the actual pages up there, you can see. Now, just to edit the different pages, the easiest thing to do is come up here on the left-hand side, you'll see this on the menu, and I can go to my case studies page and just edit all of this. And the same with my contact page. Contact forms on here, aren't sign up forms you can have sign up forms as well the contact forms are just a way that people can leave their name and address and send you a message and it will send it to the email address that you signed up for once you built this when you actually join get response so that's the way that the contact form would work if you wanted a different type of form on here you can also add a different type of form i'm going to add an element and i'm going to come down to forms i'm just going to add a form in here to show you and you can have a sign up form now the difference between a contact form and a sign up form is that this is actually going to add people to a list so you might want to get people to sign up for your newsletter or some kind of offer that you have and the great thing about that is you've got their email list and you can market to them afterwards now i will do another video at some point about how we can start using these with their own autoresponders and build an email series that you can start marketing to people so let's say i wanted to use this one here I just go down once i click on this again all of the settings are in the right hand side here and i can actually go down to subscription settings i picked the list that anybody that puts their name and email address into here would actually join you can see i got lots of different lists here that i use myself so i wanted these to be joining to my email activity buyers list i just click that on and i can decide whether to send in a confirmation email which is always good to make sure people have actually opted in and i could add to an autoresponder cycle if i had an autoresponder set up in the actual get response email section i could add it to a section a cycle as well on whatever day i wanted to add so very very good easy way to create your own sign up forms within the websites so i hope you can see guys all i would need to do is go through these various pages do all of my edits add all of the things that i would need to do and once i've finished that and added all the images and everything looks nice including adding other things to this like social media links now if i just click on this and show you i can add all my social media links to this instagram 
LinkedIn, YouTube, all of that can be added on here. You would add some legal pages on here as well. And just, just quickly show you how to add a page. Now I'm here. Go ahead and add this page here. And there's different types of pages you can have. You can add a privacy policy. And they've already written a privacy policy outline for you. So you just go ahead and add the various elements to this privacy policy. So very, very easy way for you to add a privacy policy to the website. So you can see there that privacy policy being added up there. And that's one of my pages now that people would be able to click on if they wanted to. So very easy to use. Let's just go back to the actual home page itself. Now, once you've finished all these really cool edits, you can come up here and preview it. So if you come up here and preview your website, but basically this is what your website's gonna look like. And you can look at this on a desktop here, or you can look at it on a mobile. Now, this is always good to look at how the font is looking on a mobile. And this is a really nice view for you to see what it's gonna look to people that are on mobiles. And you can change certain things on here and hide them when they're in mobile view. So when we previewed it, we can go ahead and publish. I just click on here and it'll allow me to put a subdomain in there. And that'll be a subdomain of this grwebsite.com. If I wanted to buy one, you just click on it and you find if your web domain is actually available here, you go ahead and put your domain name in there, press search and it'll find if your domain name is available. And then once you have found a domain name, it's gonna cost you around $15, around about 11 pound and that's your domain that you can use with this particular site. And guys, you don't have to use that. If you wanna keep it at this domain name here, all I need to do is click on this, and this is the domain name that you would use, and you would share and get visitors over to your website. I would also recommend it getting your own domain name, guys, because I think that once you have your own brand, it is always nice that you can utilize that domain name. But as far as this being completely free is concerned, it isn't needed. So guys, that was just a quick overview of what you can do with Get Response as far as building a website. My name is Richard Darby. This is School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to the channel before, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell, and I'll let you know whenever I produce new videos. And guys, if you're serious and you want to build a business online using affiliate marketing, go ahead and check out the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads, and I'll take you through the whole process completely for free, step by step. Until next time, guys, take care.